Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get some UV textures on Flip Fluid simulations. In this example I used the rubber toy geometry, so without further ado, let's begin. First you create your rubber toy geometry, disable add shader, uh, create a transform and move it up like I did here. And I created also this flip source with dot zero tune on voxel size. Enable output fog and uh, particle separation of dot uh, zero one. Uh, I also created from the transform node this output from map here with the Toilo res textures in texture map here. So. Uh, if you don't know how to get your toy low res textures out of the rubber toy, uh, check uh, my, my last tutorial on the channel. I, I, I teach you how to do that. The toy low res tutorial. It's the last one I uploaded on the channel. So, after you do that, I created this vertex split and the attribute promote UV. I did that because uh, you your uv need to be a point attribute so you can transfer it to your flip source because flip source is made of points so you need a point uv to work properly uh let's see i, I have some error here okay let's say UV. okay so you can see after you do your attribute transfer you get your cd and your uvs on your points uh, this vertex split is important because uh, I, I will disable just for a moment this attribute from map and enable here the UV quick shade. So you can see that if I don't uh, create this vertex split node, you have this seams with this error. After you create your vertex split, you get it working properly. You see here, and you have to promote it to points. Okay, then you transfer this point. I will enable the attribute from map again. Okay. Now you are transferring the CD attribute and the UV attribute into the flip fluid points. Okay. Then you have this attribute noise. I created this noise to create a variable viscosity. Okay. Viscosity with some uh, variation. And uh, I create this amplitude 10 and uh, range values is 0 centered, okay? Element size dot 4. And this attribute wrangle, I made this fit range to fit the viscosity between 10 and 400. After that, you just need to create your DOP network. And my DOP network, I created a very simple setup with the flips over, gravity, ground plane to collisions, flip object and volume source. The volume source I dollar f less than two because I needed to, to emit my flip fluid only in the first frame, okay? So you, you do like that. Dollar f less than two. Input its first context geometry because it's the first input here. And flip object, I get the particle separation, dot zero one. And uh, in physical, it's, uh, I think it's only that, I changed it here. The visualization to particles as well, it uh, will come as sprites. I, I prefer to put it as particles. And, um, and then flips over, volume motion, I use swirly in this kind of simulation. And uh, in viscosity, you need to enable viscosity, so viscosity of adaptivity and viscosity by attribute, so you can get the viscosity you did on the noise here. Okay. Then uh, I think it's only that. Uh, ah, I also created. I, I also enabled the ID attribute. It's very important. And uh, disable the receipt particles, okay? Uh, okay, so I create this file cache with my cached simulation. 
can see that we have the simulation working. Then you made your uh, your mesh. I create this VDB from particles with some smooth mean curvature flow with three iterations, the reshape and close operation, and um, this uh, is smooth with mean curvature flow again with two iterations. Then I convert it back to polygons. And you have this mesh. Then you create this attribute transfer and you transfer your color diffuse attribute and your UVs attribute from the the cache. Then you have your uh, CD attribute working. Like you see here. And uh, you also you also can create your particle fluid surface and it will work even faster because uh, let's wait for the cooking okay uh, you choose the particle separation the voxel scale and uh, here you can enable transfer attributes and you choose UV and the uh, CD for example you can see you have the CD working here. So, hope you like this tutorial. If you want more tutorials, remember to subscribe on the channel and uh, leave your like on this video. It helps a lot to grow the channel. And uh, if you have something you want to learn on Houdini, let me know in the comments. Thank you. See you.